What's up everybody, Stabs Whatevs here, and today we're opening two boxes of Tag Team All-Stars from Japan. Um, I got these boxes on Amazon, they were I believe $60 each. Um, this is Best of the Best from the Tag Team series, which I'm personally not too familiar with, but I do have uh, Poke Collector up right here on my computer, and obviously we want any of the gold cards, uh, like Deoxys and Espeon is pretty, pretty lit, the Jirachi is pretty cool. Uh, even the trainer cards are really cool, like Red's Challenge, Blue's Tactics, all of them are actually pretty pretty cool. The full art's really nice. Uh, we'll be happy to pack any of those. Uh, but as far as the boxes themselves, you know, Japanese booster boxes, I guess you'd call them, um, have 10 packs in them each, so I got 20 packs here, and we'll take a look at the box art for a second. All right, on the front, we have Reshiram, Zakram, Charizard, of course, uh, a really angry looking Pikachu. Mewtwo and Mew. On the sides, we got the dogs, of course, Flareon, Vaporeon, Jolteon, all kind of chilling, uh, barcode, of course. On the back, we have uh, this motherfucker, that motherfucker, and Eevee, looking really innocent. Um, on the side, just tag team, can't read Japanese. And I'll just get into it. You know, um, so a little bit about myself, I've been playing video games since before I can probably walk. Why are they so hard to open? Uh, collecting, I was collecting cards, I collected the base set a lot, jungle set, all that stuff when I was a kid, but since then I really just haven't collected much. Um, and then recently I got back into it. I, the only reason I got back into it is because my tattoo artist um, posted something on Instagram saying he was trading artwork for cards. And I was like, well, my cards are just sitting there they're just collecting dust and might as well get rid of them. And I took I took a look, you know, I had some good base stuff, good some stuff, some good stuff from base set. Um, I had a base set Charizard, but it was beat to shit. Um, the hollow was all scratched up, there was whitening everywhere, the back of it was scratched up, a terrible condition. I don't know if it was centered. Um, besides that, just some basic hollows from the first three sets base set. Um, jungle and fossil. I don't think I had anything from base set too, um, but overall, like, they were all just shitty condition, and he was just happy to take them. So I gave them all to him for a tattoo. Why not? Um, and then I got into it because I was like, well, why are these why are these cards so valuable now? Then the whole thing with Logic and Logan fucking Paul and all that shit. Um, all the hype just started getting real, and I got I got so excited. I love Pokemon. And so I kind of got into it. I started going to stores, getting packs after packs after packs, wherever I could. Uh, I got into it right before Vivid Voltage came out. So obviously when that came out, I went, I went ape shit. Um, I actually have a booster box open. I'll open up in another video. Um, and it's been nonstop ever since. So um, I stockpiled a few things. I have enough for about five or six videos, almost like we'd be doing. Probably one week, like maybe one video a week. Um, I'll try to do it on Saturdays, um, we'll see how it goes, this is just the first video of course, lighting, sound, everything, I'm still messing around with, we'll see where it goes, um, but for now, I'm going to open up these two boxes, we'll see what we get, I do have my sleeves and my trusty Raichu thing, Raichu being uh, probably my favorite Pokemon right now, when I, when I was younger, I always wanted to evolve my Pikachu, into Raichu, Pokemon Yellow, but you weren't allowed to do that because it's fucking Pikachu. But I kept trying to give it Thunderstone and would refuse to take it. So that's where I stand on uh, Raichu. <laughs> so I get my sleeves ready just in case. Who knows? Uh, but as far as the box itself, I know these do a little cool flip thing to be on display. I think this pops out. There we go. This pops in. There we go. This, these things slide open. This is really cool. So front art again. These go, I believe on the aisles or the little displays pop these guys out and it hangs there as hey reminder we're, we're sold out of cards which you do find here but it's really cool that it's all cleared in this so 10 packs there's really cool art i'm gonna just throw this away art is really cool i do wish the japanese packs um had different art for different packs because they're all the same same thing with shiny star v which i do have um, three boxes trying to start me. I'll do another video. But it's not like packs here where every, you know, almost every pack you find, every booster is a different artwork. So we have 10 packs here. 
we'll get into it. Don't know if I know the, the, the card trick, to be honest. I believe Japanese cards is just, just in the back, so you just flip it over and we're good. So let's take a look. Okay, so we got Squirtle, which is a good start. Let's just try to line this up. Okay, so we got Squirtle. Not two. Uh, what's his face? Oh, it's cool. Oh, it's cool. It's all the Jodo starters. Oh, it's really cool. Uh, no idea. Not speak Japanese. Some kind of rock. Whoa, that's cool. This is Aptos. I don't know if that counts as reverse hollow. Probably does. So we got reverse hollow of Zapdos. Reverse hollow Blastoise. That's a cool pack art. I mean, uh, hollow art. Uh, that is. That is really cool. Alright, keep going. Oh, there we go. There we go. Ninja and what's his face? As a full art. What's back here? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So there's. Oh, there's a shiny energy. And one of the, the, the fire cat from Gen. The Gen 6, Gen 7? Okay, but this is what we really want. The full art with Greninja, which now that I have the page open, let me see what his name is, because I just can't remember. I can't be bothered to look it up. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Uh, this is Greninja, and it's blue. Who the, who the fuck is this? Who the fuck is this? Oh, Greninja. Greninja. And Zoroark. Zoroark? Zoro? Is it supposed to be Zoro? Whatever. Um, that's cool. Greninja and Zoroark. So let's move on to the next pack. I will sleeve these guys. Don't worry, I'll sleeve them. I'm just going to put them on the side for now because we do have a lot of packs to get through. Again, I don't have a method for opening packs. I'm going to stick with it with no card trick. And I'm just going to flip them. Oh, there's a Meowth taking a nap. Why not? Uh, no idea who this Pokemon is. That's cool. Oh, oh, it's very own. Oh, that's the pack art, right? Art from the uh, box? Yes, it is. Oh, that's really cool. I would like to have that one. Hold on. Uh, some bike going very, very fast. Uh, Nine Tails. Very cool. Uh, Spider-Man's Web Shooters, of course. Oh, and a hollow Yovel? I want to say. Is that Yovel? Oh, it's... Uh, it's Yveltal? Yveltal. I just knew it. It's so close. Oh, it's close. Yveltal from Pokemon Y. I'm actually currently playing Pokemon X for the first time. Uh, I'm going back and playing the Pokemon games I missed. I missed, um, up to this point, I missed Heart Silver, no, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, Pokemon X and Y, Black and White 2, and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I just finished uh, Soul Silver, so now I moved on to Pokemon X. That's where we are. But I picked X, so whatever. And this is uh, Melton's in Evolution. Oh! Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. That's that big buggy bastard. What is his name? As I open more of these packs, I familiar, familiar, familiarize myself with Pokemon more. Um, hopefully I'll remember their names. It also doesn't help that it's, it's all in Japanese. But this is Furamosa and Buzzwole. Is it because he's swole? Buzzwole? Buzzwole? Oh, that's cool. And you got a holographic energy and this thing. So I guess the card trick is like the last card. Should I do two, should I do two to the front? Maybe we'll do two to the front for the next pack. I'll, I'll try that. Why not? So here we go. Try to open it up best I can. Try not making a mess. So two to the front, possibly. Let's take a look. So here's the energy. Oh, no, I messed up. Whoops. <laughs> So here, here is the Umbreon that I really wanted to pack. Uh, I can't believe it. Dark Ride Umbreon. And th this is the, is this the ultra, oh, secret rare version, because the whole, oh, that's so cool. Look at the art behind it. Geometric shapes, that's really cool. That's a really cool card. I do really like the Umbreon. Um, I did fuck up the card trick, but whatever. What are you gonna do? That is a very cool card. I will sleeve that, of course. Uh, this guy, some kind of dog kind of fish uh big old pizza brick oven uh this this guy <laughs> oh, i can't remember the names man that's uh, kind of metal uh yep this guy what is, i gotta look at the names because it's gonna kill me i can't read japanese i'm sorry this is landorus that's really that's really cool oh oh shit we got charizard restroom oh shit oh shit this is 
probably the coolest card in this set, because of course it's Charizard, but this is really fucking cool. Wow. From the, was it third pack? Second pack? That's great. The Russia Ramp and Charizard. That is very fucking cool. Um, obviously, it's sort of, I don't see any print lines or anything like that. I don't know if you can see in the camera. Take a look at the back. I do like the back of these cards as well. Centering does look possibly a little left, a little off from right to left. Um, that's very fucking cool. I'm gonna sleeve that up right away because that is probably one of the best pulls from this. Let's be honest. I got my champions pass sleeved, and I'm just gonna pack up this bad boy best we can. Oh, that is really cool. That's definitely one of the best pulls in this set. Very happy with that one. Very, very happy with that one. Very nice. I'll put him there. And let's move on. So going forward, I'm definitely going to use the, uh, the page, the Poke Collector page, because I don't remember having Pokemon names. There's there's so many of them. Um, I haven't really been playing Pokemon since... I did play Sword and Shield last year, but before that, it's it's been a while. Um, I'm not going to do a card trick because I fucked up last time, so I'm just going to let it rock. And let's get into it. So we have Pidgey. I know that one. Uh, we have Pidgey. Uh, is it just Snivy? No. Sneevel? What, what is it? Oh, it's in the bottom. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry. We, oh, that's not Weevil. Oh, it's Sneasel. It's Sneasel. Okay, it evolves into Weevil. See, that was close. Shut up. That is Sneasel. Uh, it's still a really cool pack art. Pack art. Let's go stop saying pack art. It's just card art. Full art? Whatever. Magneton. Looking very cool. Uh, some kind of ball, some kind of black and red ball. I've never really seen before. That's cool. Uh, I got these trainers. These are these are really cool. These these from the game. What is this? I do like these trainer cards. I know it's not full art, but whatever. Uh, so really cool. This is Bella Bellelba, Bellelba and Bryson Man. Lit. All right, keep going. Uh, Parasect. Whoa, no idea. But that's cool. All right, it's purple. I know it's purple. It's not a fairy though. It's not a fairy. That is Nagan. <laughs> that is Naganandel. Nag Nag Naganandel. Nagnadel. Definitely not right. But whatever. That is very cool. A very cool art. Like the, this hollow just looks. The reverse hollows on these just look so much better than all the American ones. I like this style a lot better with the the foil all around the sides. It looks much better than the American reverse hollows that you get. Like, oh, just, they're so boring here. Keep going. Don't know who this is, but he's cool and electric. This is Zera Aura. Zera Aura? Zera Aura? I don't know. Some kind of some kind of big ass electric cat. Oh, we got Dust Noir and with a Trevor. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool full art. Now, I believe this is like Shiny Star V, where every pack has a, well, Shiny Star V, every pack has a Shiny or a Full Art or whatever. I believe it's the same thing. I believe every pack has a Full Art at least. There's no Shinies in this, of course, but um, just just the fact that there's one guaranteed in every pack it makes it worth it. You know, these packs are a little pricey, not expensive as Shiny Star V, but they are definitely worth it in my opinion. Uh, these are really cool. Japanese just looks so good. The Katakana always looks great on these cards. And let's power forward. Fire energy. I'll just leave that bad boy later. Fire energy. And this, so this is the reverse hollow. This is the reverse hollow. Oh, okay. So those ones are just random hollows? I guess this is the version, this Japanese version of his hollow. This is the boring ass reverse hollow. Alright, that's pretty cool. Power on. Let's go forward. Rip this bad boy open. I don't know how Leonhardt rips him open without destroying the fucking pack. Uh, so hopefully. I'll get a hang of that. Hopefully I'll get a hang of a card trick, possibly, because I'm not doing too well. Anyway, so we got uh, Mama Genghis Khan, Baby Genghis Khan. Very cool. We got Vaporeon. That is the same art as on the Booster Fox. Very cool. Uh, let's... Oh, it's one of the hair. Was that Lolan? Yeah, so that's a Lolan Diglett. Very cool. Some kind of other ball. It might be a nest ball or a net ball, actually all the, the grass around it uh triple energy some kind of trainer this oh it's cool who the fuck is this who the fuck is this jump bluff this is jump bluff this evolves from a skip loom that is correct this is 
jump off. That's cool. The art is really cool. Uh, looks like it's doing something. I don't know. Power on. This is just a brick shit house. Oh, and we got Alola Ninetales. Oh, that's really cool. That's really cool. Full art as well. Art's really nice. And again, I fucked up with the card trick. I'll do two of the front again, I guess. I don't know. Uh, that's really cool. That's a really nice card. Really nice full art. That looks good. Surfix looks really good. No print lines. Uh, no, no print lines. Nothing. This looks really cool. Adding that to the collection. I will throw that over here. Um, I do look for the print lines and the centering and everything, but I haven't gotten any cards created yet, to be honest. The only thing I have um, probably worth more than a few hundred would be, if you see it over here, I do have the Rainbow Bear Charizard. I'll show off in another video. And I actually found my shiny Mewtwo I had as a kid. I actually found it today, of all days. Um, but I have my shiny Mewtwo that I would love to get graded one day. As, along with the Rainbow Charizard. I'm still on the hunt for the Rainbow Chunky Chew and all the good stuff from the, the newer sets. But that Rainbow Charizard um, was one hell of a pull. I pulled that in my first Champions Path ETB. I do have four more Champions Path ETBs that will be opening again soon. Um, so I haven't had much luck since, to be honest. That was from my first ETB I ever opened. Um, but that was hands down the best pull so far. I don't know if we'll get anything worth the same or worth much in this set. But going forward, I do have some cool stuff. I have Hidden Fates to open as well. Um, so we'll hopefully get that shiny Charizard. Some other cool things. So let's go on. Let me open up this page again. It's going to close it by accident. And let me try to find this motherfucker. Because I forgot his name. Of course I did. It's Pokemon, man. Munchlax. The Munchies. Paris. No idea. Some kind of elegant looking dog. Giovanni. That's cool. It's a cool little office. Very nice. Alright. Pull forward. No idea. Uh, this looks like some kind of fucking trial by fire. Oh, Glatina. That's cool. Let me see. Make sure I pronounce that right, because there's a lot of Pokemon, man. It's too much Pokemon, to, to be honest. Who is that? Oh, yeah, I was right. Gratina. That's Gratina. Duh, of course it's Gratina. Get your head out of your ass. So, we got Gratina. Hollow. Whoa! No idea who this is! I, yeah, it looks cool. I'm excited, but I have no idea who it is. <laughs> this is White Kyurem. Beats me, man. Power through it. Oh, shit. We got, uh, what's his face? And Lucario. What's his fucking name? I wish I could fucking remember. I'm, also, I'm under a lot of pressure. I can't remember half these Pokemon, man. It's a really cool tag team. I'm really happy with it. But I don't know his fucking name. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, the Tusk Noir, yada yada, yada yada. Who the fuck is this? Why can't I fucking, why can't I find him? Anyway, so that's what Multan, I believe his name is, and Lucario. Again, a really cool team up. Kind of a, that'd be interesting buddy cop show. Very nice, very cool. And this is, oh, this is I messed up again. We got Reverse Hollow Brick Oven for my pizza and a holographic fairy energy. So I will try another card trick. Well, you know what? Why not? I'm going to try another card trick. In this box, we got... We got four more packs from this box. We're still looking for any gold cards, any rainbow cards, any rainbow rares. Honestly, any of them would be really cool. So I'm going to do two cards to the front again, some energies first. Or should I just put the energy... Oh, here we go. I'm going to put the energy first. Because if we do pull something, we'll be behind... Where the energy would be. So, very cool. Lightning energy. Lightning being one of my favorite types. We got with Kyogre. No, Kyogre. Not Kyogre. What's this one? Tyogre? Tyrone? Tyrone? Am I wrong in saying that? Tyogre. It is Tyogre. What? Is that Kyogre? It's Tyrogre. Ty Tyrogue. Tyrogue. That's my boy Tyrogue. Come on. Come on. Uh, some kind of leaf. It's a kind of bird. E.T. Fields from... Uh, Neon Genesis Ev Evangelion. Uh, big, some big old chess piece. Looks like a pawn. I don't know. Some trainer. 
Oh, here we go. Really cool looking Raikou. Coming at you. We have the big ass metal thing. I forgot his name as well. Magnezone. That's right. You all throw Magneton there in the corner. That is also a very cool card. And full art. Septile. And this thing, which looks hand drawn actually. That's really cool. Um, really cool Septile. Again, full arts are cool, but you want some of the tech team, you want the shiny stuff, you want the rare stuff, but it's still a really cool card. So, we'll move on. We've got three more cards, three more packs left in this set. Now, I'll power forward. Um, I will do the same card trick. So, one energy to the front. And I'm going to say water. Nope, oh, it is fairy, because of course it is. Really cool War Total. War Total. Um, let me say too, is also one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, I noticed War Turtle just does not have a lot of cards in general, to be honest. From from the base set to the new sets, I guess, he does not have a single holographic card, which I thought was interesting, because it's, you know, it's one of the starters. I know the middles and the starters aren't really popular. Um, Tremeleon probably being the most popular, of course. But I thought War Turtle was really cool looking. They really just took the Squirtle design and made him fucking angry looking. I like his tail, his big ass ears sharp fucking claws i always thought he was a really cool card i think he's a really cool pokemon i really thought I, you know he would be at least some at least have some special cards but there's nothing there's really just nothing if you look it up there's no hollows nothing so i think i kind of want to collect every single war turtle card even like the first edition uh, base set and dark war turtle which is really cool uh really cool card really cool artwork uh are definitely one of my favorite pokemon and i definitely like that uh, i forgot this guy's name he's really cool uh, poly Polygon, Polygon. Again, like, the artwork is really good on this set. It's really cool. It's kind of dojo. The kind of computer, uh, MacBook 2000. Some kind of trainer. So, this looks out of this world. This does not look like a Pokemon. This looks like a Final Fantasy villain, to be honest. This is some Final Fantasy 12 shit. What the fuck is this? Anyway, moving on. Oh, Polygon Z. That's cool. Polygon Z, as you can see. Really cool, really cool card. Uh, looks like he's in a field or something. So you get that focus. Power on. Oh shit, Rayquaza! Rayquaza GX. That is a very cool full art. You see, I guess he's above the earth right here. Up in, up in the space. Shooting some kind of fucking laser beam at the sun, probably, because he's fucking crazy. That is a very cool card. And, oh, Mewtwo. Mewtwo were solo. Oh, that was really cool. Oh, this this is this is awesome looking. Look at this. That's a cool card. That's a really cool card. I'm very happy with that one. Uh, again, I don't know why I'm looking at centering because will I ever get these created? Doubt it. But that's that's one of my favorites so far. That's really cool looking. That's a really cool record though. So power through it. Two more for this box. And I might clean up a little bit because I do have packs coming out the ass right now. Um, in another video, I'll go through. I'll put that there. In another video, I'll go through what I have pulled so far. I have a binder full. I have some in a hard uh, part case, in, in a safe actually behind the camera. I'll go off and um, I'll show those in another video. I packed some really cool things. Some things that are cool to me. You know, it's a Pokemon I just very much like. Um, we'll definitely do that soon because I have some cool stuff I would like to share. But going forward, um, whatever I pull, I guess will be on camera. So, tune in, subscribe. All right, energy. Of course, Shuckle. Shout out to my friend Ryan. My friend Ryan loves Shuckle for whatever fucking reason. Ryan, this is for you. Um, we got the cat, the fire cat. I can't remember his fucking name. We got Eevee. Uh, Mimikyu. Digimon. Looks like a Digimon fucking Digidex. Whatever the fuck. Digidex? No, that's not right. That's cool. Don't know what it is, but whatever. Uh, recycle, of course. Make sure you recycle, boys and girls. Uh, we have this thing, which I always thought was one of the stupidest Pokemon ever. I don't understand the design. It does not look like a Pokemon. Spirit Tomb. I, I just, I never liked it. I never understood this. It's just a floating gas fucking bullshit Pokemon. Anyway. Oh, so you do a holographic Mewtwo to go along with the Reverse Hollow I packed. And... Oh! Very cool. I forgot his name. 
Surprise, surprise. The Denny? The Denny? Uh, it looks like Raichu Light, to be honest. It looks like a baby version of Raichu. So, I do like this. This is cool. It's a GX, because, you know, why the fuck not? And, <sighs> Magic Pro. Very cool. Very nice. So, last one for this box. So, the way I'm recording this, I have my old iPhone X recording me, because it's just me. Nobody wants to see me. Then I have my iPhone 12, which is my current cell phone, recording the pack opening. Um, I got a lapel mic here, going into my little computer. I have the bookshelf behind me because I thought that'd be a cool backdrop, why not? Um, and I just threw this all together today. Um, my wife, shout out to my wife, we got married yesterday, actually. We got married yesterday. Um, she surprised me with the lapel mic, and she what else did she get me? She got me a tripod, the tripod I'm using now to put my, um, my phone on for the cards. Uh, she's been very supportive of this. This has been a, a long, stressful journey, a lot of money on cards, but she has been supporting me all the way. Um, actually, back here, I have, I don't know where it is, she got me um, a, this is a three-card pack from Sun and Moon base set, but it was the first pack of cards that she just bought me on my own. You know, she knows I've been collecting, and she saw it out one day, like a Dollar Tree or something, and she came home with it. She just bought it on a whim for me. And I don't even want to open it because um, it was really cool. It was really nice of her. Um, you know, being, being a hobbyist like this, um, it's definitely an expensive hobby. It's a time-consuming hobby. But I, the whole point of starting this channel was to kind of share this with you guys. Because it's Pokemon cards. They're fun. They're, who doesn't love Pokemon cards? So this way we can all kind of open them, we can all enjoy ourselves. Um, thanks for tuning in. If you are here, please subscribe. I would like to let this, let this channel grow. And I, I do have many more videos planned, many more Pokemon videos. Um, after that, I wouldn't mind expanding to video game stuff, podcast stuff, just talking about bullshit and, and life and everything. Um, comic books, I have a lot of comics and manga behind me as you can see. Um, so going forward, I would really like to let this channel grow and branch out to more things. But right now, Pokemon cards have taken all of my attention. So I am going to focus on that for the next few weeks, the next few videos. And we'll see where it goes. So like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell your parents, friends, tell everybody. Thank you. Let's go on. So Psychic Energy. No idea who this dog is. Uh, Trico, which is a big ass nose. Looks like, um, looks like Squidward. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Pidgeotto, which I always liked cooler. I always liked uh, more than Pidgeot. I thought Pidgeotto looked cool with the red mohawk. Still has the, the uh, red and yellow tail. It's really cool. Really nice backdrop as well. Really, really cool card. I uh, forgot his name. Um, we got a welder for whatever reasons. Why don't you just get a Pokemon to do it? In the, in the, car, in the cartoon, isn't there just Pokemon doing everyday jobs? I feel like a Pokemon would get this done so much easier. We just pay them in food. Come on. Anyway. Uh, Professor... However, no idea. It looks like Origami. Origami Man. Oh, this is one of the was Black Star cards? Prism Star cards. This is really cool. I think I have this already. I think I have this in English. I don't remember what it's called, though. This is one of the Prism Star cards. It. I don't know if this is... It looks like a fucking alchemy circle. Move on. Oh, it's Cinnamore and a dojo. But it's Cinnamore. It's Cinnamore GX. That is a very cool card. I do like the anime, the graphic on that. That is very nice. That is very, very cool. Sinner War, being definitely one of the more popular Pokemons now, obviously being, being in Smash definitely helps. Um, but this is still a very, very cool card, a very cool Pokemon. The championship belt, of course, because he, he's the king. Uh, it actually looks like he might be in some kind of arena. Oh, yeah, there you go. There's the uh, the lines right there, the, uh, the ropes. Of course, doing his thing. Coming at you. Very cool card. And, oh, the well, ladies and gentlemen, that was it for that box. So let me move everything out the way. And we will continue on. I got a little loop in here. Keep me company. And we'll get to another box. So, if I can get this open, because these are so hard to get open for whatever fucking reason. Um, we can get started on this next box. So, like I said, um, you know, I, I'm really happy I started getting into this. It's been so, it's been so much fun. 
It's been such a ride. Um, and now I want to share it with, with everybody. Why not? You know, um, I get excited when I pull something good. And I watch a lot of YouTubers and a lot of people. Just open packs, open packs on stream and all that. And it's just so much fun to be a part of it. Uh, the community is always great for these people. And it's just, uh, Pokemon is just so, I don't know, what's the, what's the word? It's something we, we enjoyed since we were a kid. You know what I mean? So now I'm almost 29 at the time of recording. Um, and I'm, I'm currently in the middle of playing another Pokemon game. Because it's Pokemon. It's been you know part of us growing up. You know, growing up in the 90s and getting, I have base set packs and everything. You know, it's, it's cool. Like, it's... It's been a big part of us, and with a lot of things that I enjoy, um, that's a big factor to me. If you look around, I have Dragon Ball figures out the ass. I have some down here that I don't even know what to do with, um, because it's something I grew up with. I have a Dragon Ball tattoo. I would like to get a Pokemon tattoo soon. It'd, it'd probably be a Raichu, to be honest. Um, but why not? It's something that kind of shaped me growing up, and... I'm gonna keep enjoying it. You should too. Don't let don't let anybody judge you. So, box number two, pack number one. Uh, I got some really cool Japanese on here. I don't know if they do for sale in Japan only. Well, sorry, uh, that's probably why I paid a premium on it. Um, they have two code cards in here. I think they did a Shining Star V. We'll find out in another video. Oh, destroy that pack. All right, so we'll do the same thing. Energy to the front, cards to the back, and flippity dippity. Oh, shit, I fucked up, but that is a full trainer art card. Now, what is this girl's name? This is, fuck me, this is Hapu. Wow, I fucked up. The, how the fuck, how did I, oh, shit, oh, shit, there's two full art trainer cards. Oh, shit, this is, is this green? Green's Exploration. Oh, sh oh my god, oh my god, there's so oh my god, there's so much in here. Oh shit. It's a god pack. Oh shit, it's a god pack. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's a god pack. No fucking wonder. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's a god pack. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a god pack. Oh shit. Excuse me if the fucking mic is picked. We packed the god pack! I don't even know what's fucking in here! Oh my god, no fucking wonder! I was like, this. I definitely didn't mess up the card trick. There is no card trick, it's a fucking god pack! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, okay, alright. One at a time. So this is Green's Exploration. This is cool. This is fucking cool. Holy shit, we got a god pack. Anyway, so, continue on. So, we saw Green's Exploration. We saw Hapu. We saw a energy. Ah, uh, okay. So I have this from the promo. They had a box. Um, was it mighty small but mighty collection with these three Pokemon? Um, so a few packs, few shitty packs to be honest. A little overpriced. It was like fifty bucks at Target. They got it. But I do have this one in English. This is really cool. Going forward, uh, we have uh, was it Matan? What is it? what is this guy's name? Mel Metal. Of course it is. Mel Metal. GX. Secret rare. Oh, fuck me. All right, we know Destin War and Trevor in it. We got this guy, Dedene. Oh, wish was Wish Washy? Wishy Washy? Wishy Washy GX Full Art, of course it is. That prism holographic is very, very cool. The geometric style. We got Jirachi GX. Fuck me, that is cool. Oh, man. I can't believe we got a God Pack. Oh, shit. EVGX, very fucking nice, very cool. This is my wife's favorite card, uh, very favorite Pokemon, I mean. This is her new favorite card. Very, very cool. And then we got another trainer. Don't know, this guy looks like he's been working hard, probably in the mines or something. I don't know. This is, oh, this is the Welder. Oh, this is the Welder we saw. No, oh, no wonder. Okay. So we don't need Pokemon to do his job. He does his own job. We, ladies and gentlemen, we got a fucking God Pack. Oh my goodness, all this from one fucking pack. This might have paid for both boxes. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh man, we got him. Holy shit, we got him. I'm gonna sleeve every one of these. This is very fucking cool. We got a fucking god pack. Oh wow, I do really like this Eevee. This Jirachi is so cool. I love the purple background. 
these two right here, very, very nice pulls. And we got a fucking God pack. It was, was a first pack in the second box? That's incredible. Wow, we got a fucking God pack. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Excuse my curses, by the way. Um, I, I have been cursing like a sailor since I started recording. Sorry. So, let me try the card trick again. Okay, so this not work. It's not a God pack. Whatever. Can't win them all. Uh, fairy energy. Bird. Thing. Wishy-washy. You look like he's crying. Boo-hoo-hoo. Uh, surfboard for wishy-washy, of course. Uh, we got Persian. Uh, looks like he's in the... That's a very cool card. Sunset looks really cool. Some trees and stuff. Looks like he's in the jungle or whatever. Very cool. No idea. Oh, okay. So, this thing. I forgot his fucking name. Of course I did. And why, why wouldn't I forget his name? It's just a Pokemon. I should know them all, but there's like, what? Fucking almost 900 of them, if not more. I can't remember all of them. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Fuck off. This is Absol. This is Absol. Of course it is. It's Absol. Very cool. Uh, oh, I, I have I have one of his VX cards. I don't remember his name. Uh, when, when a volcano. Okay. So when, when I open up uh, English packs, um, I won't have this awkwardness of trying to look up their names because I I can't remember. There's so many Pokemon to remember. I do have the, the list in front of me. So give me give me a second while I kind of look it up. The only other Japanese cards I do have is three boxes to Shining Star V, which I'm very excited to open. But that is Volcano Rare. Oh, shit. This is a fucking clown. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is this? This is... I. Did, if you could, if you told me this was a different, like... If you told me this was, wasn't was a Pokemon, I'd believe you. What the fuck is this? Blasphalon. Blakephalon? Blackphalon? Blacephalon. What the fuck is this? This isn't a Pokemon. This is... This is a, a fuck, oh, whatever. And we got a Trico Reverse Rare. Honestly, what is this? Go, let's move on. Let's move on. Showing the packs as usual. I'll do the same thing. Revert uh, energy to the front. And we got a Fighting Energy. We got a Sleeping Meowth. And we got this guy. We got a Flareon. Very cool. I'm trying to keep my hands steady as well. Uh, we got Red. Triple Energy. Black Belt? Possibly Black Belt? Oh, a Jirachi. Jirachi up in space. Or up above the, up above the clouds. Then the moon behind it. Very cool. Hollow card. Zapdos Hollow. Oh, Wishy Washy. Wishy. Get the fuck out of here. Wishy Washy. GX. And Reverse Hollow. Radio Wave thing. I don't know. Alright, move on. How about that God pack, huh? Jesus Christ. That's actually going in the thumbnail, or at least the title of the video. That is very, very cool. I know there's God packs in the Shiny Star V as well, but just to pack one, I know it's not Shiny Star, but just to pack one is, is very, very fucking cool. That's definitely going to be the uh, title of this video. So, spoiler alert, I guess. Pidgey. Paris. But uh, Alligator. No idea. Red Ball, no idea. Oh, the holographic Mewtwo is very cool. Uh, Mewtwo does have a, he does have a, a card in here. He does have a gold card, a secret rare card. I would love to pull up one of him. Mewtwo being a very, very cool Pokemon. No idea. Origami. Oh, we got this motherfucker again. This fucking electric cat thing. Zorora. It is Zorora GX. Very cool. Oh, there's another card in here. Oh, no. oh it's energy. Oh, I didn't do this time. Zorora GX. That's a really cool card. Alright. Keep going. We're almost done here. This is pack number four, I believe. In this box. Uh, I'll do the reverse thing. Let's do this. Energy. Oh, very cool. Uh, Munchlax, the Munchie, of course. This, this is Meltan. I called every single evolution of him Meltan. This is Meltan. See? I, I'm, I'm learning. Uh, Lola and the Vulpix. Very cool. That is a ET field from Neon Genesis Evangelion. It is the tag team we saw earlier. Lieutenant Charger's son, I don't know. This is Melmetal, I believe Melmetal. 
uh, Snivy. Call it Weasel. Whatever. Whoa! No idea. But another GX. Oh, Chuckle. Ryan, if you're watching, check it out. Chuckle Reverse Rare. But we got this guy. Couldn't tell you. But very cool art. I do like that blue behind him. Whoever he is, or he or she is, uh, once I find this card, I will tell you because I don't know. To be completely honest, I don't even know what, what type this is because it's not showing up in the yellow card. Ultima, Ulta, ooh, Ultra Necrozom, Necrozma, Ultra Necrozma. This is Ultra Necrozma. That is a very cool card. Very angry. Get that focus. Very cool. That is a very nice looking card. Shout out to Net Ultra Necrozma. Whoever, whatever this is. Mm. Alright, here you go. This is not my first video. Shut up. Um, <laughs> Electric Horse. <laughs> Blitzel. This is Blitzel. Yep. A fluffy. Uh, Skip Bloom. Skip Bloom. Duh. Skip Bloom. Uh, Fable? No. Cleffa? Is it just Cleffa? It is just Cleffa. I think both. Trainer? No idea. Uh, Misty and whoever? No idea. This is that electric cat thing. We just packed so many times. Fuck, what's his name? We just packed him so many times. What the hell is he? Zorora. There we go. Zorora. Aurora. Yep. Ah, another Lucario and more metal. And another, another Reverse Hollow Mengton Energy. Another one. Still no gold cards, still no rainbow rares, which is kind of upsetting. But it is what it is. You know, we're not, we're not doing, we're, you know, we obviously we want to pull something good, but also here to have fun, ladies and gentlemen. This thing, Bullpix, kind of boring looking Bullpix. Uh, War Total, <laughs> Alolan Duck Trio. The wigs, of course. No idea. Dojo. Brick, brick shit house. Gratini. Gratina. Gratina. Oh, reverse hollow skept. Ah, another one. I mean, a uh, full art. GX and nothing. Reverse hollow Vulpix. Fire energy. And GX Sceptile. Not feeling hopeful for a rainbow rare. But three more packs. Three more chances for another one. What are you going to do? Pull this open. Yada. I'm not even gonna do the card trick anymore. So Evie, I have no idea what this is. I should learn who this is. Who is this? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Inke. Sure. Inke. Diglett. Uh, computer. Uh, Windows 2000. This is the Trico Evolution. I forgot his name as well. Because of course I did. This is Grobal. No idea. Oh, very cool. I think I packed him earlier. I'm not going to bother. Oh, one of these cards. This is, I remember seeing this one. This is the, uh, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it, what is it? The Prism Star. Prism Star, DNC? Prism Star is really cool looking. I do like, it still has the black borders. Obviously the star in the middle is really cool. It's really cool looking design, really cool. Oh, there you go, there you go. There we go. That is Mewtwo and Mew tag team. A very cool card. They look very angry, except Mew Mew looks very chill. That is a very nice pull. And this bullshit, of course. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we're looking for. Again, centering is a little hard to tell on these cards because like it is almost gradient inside. So it's a hard to tell on the, on the centering. Um, but this is a very, very cool card. It looks like there are, I see some water, I see a building. I don't know what that, maybe they're breaking out of something. Again, another really cool buddy cop movie, probably. Um, but very cool card. Mewtwo being one of my favorite Pokemon as well. Very cool. Very nice. So, last two packs. What do we get? All right. Uh, Firecat. Not two. Things gone. Uh, rock. Purse. This thing, Riku again, Metagross, 
Oh, the birds. Yeah, nothing. All right, so this is this is such cool fucking art. Um, as far as like cards go, this isn't very rare. I think I have one in English. Uh, maybe possibly two in English. But still, the art is so cool. The way they all kind of flow together. The way they're just they're kind of in action. Again, always looking angry. We do appreciate angry Pokemon here. Um, very very cool card. Very cool full art. Not the rarest, but just really cool. Really cool in general. And oh shit, we're down to the last one. The normal Smith. So this is the last one. Uh, thank you everybody for joining. This has been the first pack opening. I know the video ran a little long. Um, it is also 20 packs to open. But very cool. This has been a very fun, very fun experiment. Uh, I will be doing more for sure. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. If you want to stay tuned, subscribe. Simple. So, Squirtle. Oh, not yet. Magneton. Sneasel, Sneasel, what the fuck? Sneasel, see that was close. Sneasel, it's a kind of bike. Melon, trainer on a beach day. Uh, very cool looking, whatever this is. Oh, there you go. A nice Mew Hollow, very nice. Oh, tag team, Machamp, and, and, one second, and, is that Machamp, and, Marshadow. Oh, actually, I think I have a Marshadow, Marshadow tin. Yeah, Mar I have a couple of Marshadow tins. Um, very weird combination for a tag team. Um, again, again, another very interesting buddy cop movie. But very cool card, very cool full art, and that's it. And a black belt that much can wear. So, going back, uh, cards are pretty much everywhere. And so this is the God Pack that we got, which is insane. Um, very cool cards, very, very cool secret rares. I think they're all secret rares, technically. Right? Yeah, they're all secret rares, which is very, very cool. The best two probably being these two, personally, anyway. But that Jirachi is very cool. Look at them, a little cheeky, a little bit. Very nice, very cool. Uh, some other cool things, of course, the Mewtwo, the, the birds. Here's the Mewtwo. And some other things that are around here that I'll, I'll sleeve up and everything. But that was it. Best pulls so far. I think very cool very nice very happy with that and that is my first video so everybody thank you for watching um thank you for tuning in this is going to be a a fun ride with opening all these packs i do have a lot of packs a lot of stuff to open so please subscribe like comment share share with everybody share on facebook instagram twitter do whatever you want to do let the word be known thank you for tuning in and i'll catch you next time for now i'm stevs whatevs I'll catch you later.